guys, Elle here, back with another video, and today's for my birthday, it is February 20th, it's raining like crazy, I'll show you in one second, there we go, look how, like this is a lot for California, it's crazy, look, I'll show you this window, and it's super windy too. But yeah, um, it's Monday. I'm not doing anything. My brother's doing a camp, so he's not here all this week. Um, but I don't know. I think I meant big pancakes for breakfast. Yeah, let's make some pancakes. By the way, sorry I'm wearing the same sweater. It's just really comfy, and I really want to wear it. So yeah, peace. You know, haters gonna hate whatever. Okay, so halfway through preparing to make pancakes, I decided I want to make um, omelets. So, gotta get the eggs, you know? And now I gotta make the omelets, yeah. Okay, so let's see what we need. Okay, so we need, well, I already got the eggs, they're over there. We need some cheese. Some leaves. Some leaves. Leaves, you know, you, you gotta use leaves just to be healthy. Time to make some omeletas. I don't know if that's how you say it in Spanish, really, even though I take Spanish. I just don't know. I'm just not prepared for life, you know? If I don't know how to say almonds in Spanish, then where will I go, you know? Yeah. I don't even, I just, I don't know. Okay, so let's take some omelets. Okay, first we gotta crack the eggs. I'm gonna do four eggs because two for each person. One, two, three. <laughs> Man, stupid egg. There you go. Three. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm on a roll. Four. Okay. No. No, a huge chunk of shell went in. Anybody who's made eggs knows how hard it is to get the shell out. It's like close to impossible. Yes, got it. Okay. We all good, guys. We all good. I saved the day. Alright, so I turned on the lights because I was like, it's kind of dark in here. No more shell. We're good. I'm just going to wipe off the egg. I'm just going to wipe off the egg from And I did that because, um, you don't want to get salmonella. Funny story, actually. I have a friend named Sam. My name is Ella. And so we always say, look, there's salmonella. <laughs> yeah, it's not very funny. Okay, now I'm done with the eggs. Put them away. And we put some milk in with the eggs so we can mix it. A oh, good amount of milk so it's be really fluffy. Okay. At least we gotta add those seasonings. So we put some salt and some pepper. Well, that's it for the egg mix, you know. Okay. And now we stir it. I like stirring with a fork, it just works better. Oh, also, make sure you have it in. Also make sure you have it in one of these like pirate dishes or something, or whatever it's called, or at least something that you can pour out of. It makes it much easier when you're making the eggs to pour half like the 
um, contents into a pan, and then like you have to make like almost like a pancake with the eggs, and then put the ingredients in, and then fold it in half. We will see all this, but yeah, just make sure you have it in like something that's easy to pour. That way you don't struggle and burn your fingers or your hand, you know. Okay. Yeah. I'll pour some cheese in. I'll probably end up refilling this halfway through because as this is this is just probably enough for one person just because you want the cheese to melt. Okay. Next. Get some ham because we all love ham. Oh my God, these containers are so hard to open. Jeez, all I want is ham. God. You have to be Hulk if you want him. Okay, I'm just gonna struggle for a bit. I'll get back to you. Okay, so I got it open. I got two pieces. I'm gonna get two more pieces. And two more. You know? One for me, one for mom. Don't be delicious. Okay, and now just for me, I'm gonna have like lettuce and my mom's gonna have uh, avocado. So oh actually there's another lettuce. Oh, there is this four. Okay. Um, so just for me now, I'm gonna have some Blended 50-50 baby spinach and spinach. Basically, I'm having spinach in mine as well because I was like, I need to be healthy, so yeah. If I can open it, that's for sure. Damn. Why are these food containers so hard to open? Like, what if you're hungry? Ooh, I don't know if this is... Ooh, mmm. Ooh. This is way over date. Yeah, this does not smell good. Ew. Ooh. We're not having lettuce today. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, so literally, here's what just happened. I was cutting the avocado right there, and um, it flew. Like the little avocado thing flew over here, so I went up to pick it up, and I dropped it in the trash. <laughs> I'm missing an avocado now. I give up. So the other avocado half was not looking so hot, so I threw it out. I'm sorry, avocado. But yeah. So now I got my cheese, my ingredients, and I'm just going to put them next to the pan that I'm going to cook over. It'll make life much easier when I'm cooking. That way I don't have to like run around the kitchen trying to find stuff to put on the pan in like 10 seconds. So yeah. I'm just going to clean up over here so then it's less clean up afterwards. You know, we're just having like a kitchen hack section with Ella, you know. And you know, I'm here for you guys, you know. I'm always going to give you my tips and tricks and life hacks, if I remember them. <laughs> so yeah, let's start cooking. Okay, so the first step is we have to light the stove, because it's a gas stove. So let me put you down. Okay. Cool. First I have to turn the lighter on. And that's sometimes hard. Okay. We can hire it out. I'm just gonna put on medium. I'm gonna cook the eggs faster. Okay, this is high heat spray, especially since we're gonna be doing eggs normally on high heat. And we got a five burner. Goes faster than the four, obviously. Okay. 
Put in their avocado oil on to protect it from getting burned. It's kind of like hair, you know the hairspray stuff that like pretends you blow in your strain your hair or whatever. It protects your hair from getting you know, like burnt off. It's kind of like that. Okay, also let's show you the setup. Here's our setup. You know. Okay, oh, we're gonna get a spatula. Let's see. There's the spatula. Um, we'll start putting the eggs in, I guess. I think that was a good time to pour eggs in. Okay, put that fork away. Okay, half the egg mix. Maybe a little more. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. Now we just wait. This is how you do eggs in the frying pan. If you wanted to make them completely scrambled, you'd keep doing that, but I'm just doing a little bit just to get it started. Then you just let it sit. And everything goes smoothly. And then it starts to cook on the sides, and that's why you do that, because it like moves the sides inwards, and then the rest of the sides, but the outside can get done, and the inside can get done. I don't even know, but it works. Okay, so now I'm just going to stop and let it cook, because otherwise, it's going to be a blob. Okay, now once one side, or like one half of it is cooked, we're going to put the cheese on. So, we'll just wait for the cheese until it's half cooked. Bubble. Okay, I'm just gonna put the cheese on outside. There we go. There's the cheese. The cheese. This is probably the best part about omelets. Watching the cheese melt. And so now the cheese will melt into the mix. I don't taste really good. I'm just gonna scrape that off the edge of it. So, I don't really know how long this takes, but, I mean, I know, but I don't know the exact time, so now I'm going to learn the exact time. I feel like half of it's kind of rough, but we will see. I'll get back to you in a minute. Oh, that's the end of the Oh, oh okay, this one. Okay, so that almost is. Is that right? Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Come on. That almost did not feel as well as we planned. But, that's the magic of flipping it to the other side. What is all the point? So, yeah. Okay, here's the finished. Okay, the kettle. Here's the finished omelet product. Yum. I love ketchup, so. That's why there's a lot of ketchup. Um, yeah, now I'm just going to do some teas because we can't have omelets or breakfast without tea. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna do tea, so yeah, bye. I'm gonna do tea. Yeah, wait till the kettle boils. And then you get various tea, which is English breakfast stuff type from Ireland. It smells delicious. Yeah. Okay. And you put it in the cups. You always put the tea in first and then you get more taste. With the kettle boil. Yeah, yeah. So then you just gonna just take the tea bags out. So wait for this kind of balance out forever. Yeah, so it was a successful cooking morning. This was cooking with Ella. I hope you enjoyed it. There probably won't be any more of these because I really don't cook often. <laughs> Kettle's about to boil. Hurry up, kettle. I'm gonna go eat for a second. Almost amazing. I'm just glad that the kettle's boiled.
put some in here. Put some in here. We don't put it all the way because we put milk in. Okay. Now it looks like those. Can you see it? There. You wait a minute so then the tea bag can steep in the water. Or steep, steam, I don't know how you say it. I just like pr pr pressing, pressing them against the bag. I mean, against the side of the cup so then it gets more of the flavor to come out. So yeah, I'll show you the finished product in a minute. Okay, so here's the deal. Mom likes hers dark, which means less milk when you take the tea bag out. And I like mine lighter, which means more milk. When you take the tea bag out, and it's pretty much that simple, you know. Hi guys, so showered, washed my face, <laughs> did my hair, and now we're just sitting here, and I'm eating chips and trying to play games. I'm eating a bag of chips, and we're having La Croix. La mm, Sorry, I forgot about you guys. We're yeah. just about to go film a video outside, but not in the rain. In the car, in the rain. It's gonna be Wednesday's upload, so I hope you like it. Hope you guys are having a good break. Mm. You want any words of wisdom, Charlie? Um, don't become a potato. <laughs> <laughs> so, something. Perfect. Don't become a potato. Words of wisdom from Charlie. What? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll get back to you once we're done filming. See y'all. Bye. Later. Hi guys, I've literally done all, nothing all afternoon. Well, actually, no, I haven't done nothing. I normally do nothing all afternoon. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. But I filmed a video and edited it, edited it, edited it, and I edited it, edited it, and so I'm going to post it on Wednesday. And yeah, I'm really excited for that. <laughs> it's a really good video, I think. I hope. It's for my main channel. By the way, we have a new channel. <laughs> you know, a slight plug in there. Um, we have a new channel called Vlogins, which is going to be joint vlogs from Charlie and I, and it's going to start on Thursday, so no more vlogs on my main channel, I'm sorry, but now I'm just going to have weekly videos that are pretty good on my main channel on Wednesdays, so yeah, hope you enjoy it. And you know, I, I did my eye makeup earlier, and I'm starting to think, wow, you know, oh, like, dang, I think it's good at least. It took a lot of effort. Let's see. It's like orange and peachy. I don't know. I like it. I thought it was cool. <laughs> but sorry for the up close and personal look. So, yeah. I don't really know what I'm going to do now. I think that's pretty much it for today's vlog. It's kind of lame as usual. I feel like I just don't vlog when something happens. I'll try more tomorrow. I think I'm going to hang out with people, so. Yeah. Okay, well, I <clears throat> hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe for more videos from me. Click here to see... Oh, mm, no. Mm -hmm. Click here to subscribe. Click here to see a recent upload and click here to see a popular upload. And click here to subscribe to the Vlogans channel. Yas. I'll see you soon. Bye. Welcome to my channel. Here's the intro song. My name is...